Today, class, we are going to be learning about souls. Specifically today, we're going to learn about the band saw. Not a band of saws, but a band saw. This is a band saw. It has several important parts. The table, this is where you place items to be cut. Guard adjustment knobs for adjusting the guard height. The last two are for your information, but only teachers or certified personnel should adjust these. Please don't play with them. Why is it called a bandsaw? It's called a bandsaw because it's a saw that's made up of a large metal band wrapped around two wheels, which creates a continuous cutting edge. Oh. Before you begin, you have to go to the goggle cabinet and make sure that you get and wear proper eye protection. Now you look ready. The first step is to adjust the bandsaw guard so that it's about one quarter of an inch above the material to be cut, as shown. Now that the guard is adjusted, it's time to plug in the bandsaw. Now you're ready to turn on the bandsaw. Let it get up to speed before cutting. Now you're finally ready to cut the material. Simply push the material into the saw easily and follow your pre-drawn lines. Do not force the material or you could break the saw blade. Make sure that you keep your hands at least two inches from the moving blade at all time. What do you do if you want to cut something smaller than two inches? You use a push stick. This is simply a small piece of wood that's used to push the material through the saw instead of using your finger. When you're done, don't forget to clean up, starting with your scraps when the blade fully stops. Don't forget to unplug the saw, making sure you grab the plug, not the cord. Lower the blade guard to prevent accidental injuries. Tears are filling up their glasses 